any baby plans in the near future? Yeah, um, we're building a house right now. No, it's I saw be, the house on Instagram. It looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be done so you know, in the spring. So mm -hmm. we'll have to start filling it up yep. after I've that. Been, I've been like whispering it in Tanner's ear, you know, <laughs> trying to just fill it out, like put it out there. So mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I bet you'll see something maybe, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe some, next yeah. year. Sometime next year yeah. we'll, we'll start. Have you talked about how many kids you want to have? Um, my, I joke he around and say two and a half. Yeah. Two and a half. Um, <laughs> he has a stipulation. So if they're both boys, or if they're both girls, uh -huh. I want to try for number three for okay. a little boy. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we'll say, he has yeah. have one boy. So I'm hoping the first one's a boy. Get that mm -hmm. out of the way. Yeah. Get that out of the way. <laughs> and then after that, the pressure's off. So. Yeah. yeah. You guys did go back to paradise this yeah. summer. Yeah. It was great seeing you guys. I think everybody was so excited. But you just you thought that Kayla and Jared had the best connection out of all of them. Were you surprised that they didn't make it? Yeah, we turned out to be wrong on that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. um, I think we wanted to give them that boost like we were right. kind of like let you have a little seed planted so hopefully this will help you mm -hmm. but yeah we thought we didn't think they had the best like chance to make it out necessarily sure. at that time we just thought they had the most to either gain or lose the right. other couples kind of were already formed mm -hmm. and from being there last year we knew that once you already kind of have your your pair you can have just as much fun hanging out on the beach as you can on a date right yeah. um, whereas sometimes people on that bubble need that sure. specific alone time and we love Jared yeah, and he's my he best looks, yeah. he looks so happy so we were like yeah. we have never you know, seen him like this, and we really just wanted to like, you know, we were hoping it would work out. Right? Do you think if Ashley wasn't there, they probably would have had a, a better chance? I think uh, so. You know, I think at the end of the day, she can't affect their relationship. Sure. If they were going to yeah. make it out, they would have made it out. Yeah. So, what do we think about the couples that got engaged? Three couples that got engaged. Yeah, I know Carly is a really good friend yeah. of yours. So, were you totally surprised that she fell for, you know, somebody like Evan? You know, so when we were there, Carly was so wishy washy about him. Oh, yeah. She was like, I don't know. I kind of like him, but I'm still like weirded out. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, three weeks later, I get a call, and she's like, I'm engaged. I'm like, what? Yeah. What? But, I mean, I'm so happy for her. Yeah. I've not seen her happier than this. And yeah. Evan's a great guy. I, he is. I, yeah. I've, I've said it a million times on this. I was totally anti-Evan at the beginning. And yeah. then at the end, I'm like, he's the best person ever. Yeah. Like, he's fabulous. He seems like a really good guy. And yeah. you think they make a really good couple together. I do. I feel mm -hmm. like they work really well together. And like Tanner said, I think he was like, they're weirds match, <laughs> yes. you know? <laughs> so. Yes, definitely. Are you yeah. going to be a bridesmaid in the wedding? Um, she kind of asked me on After Paradise. Oh, that's right. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if that was a formal invitation, then yeah, I'd love to. Totally, you know? yeah. yeah. Most memorable moment from your season of VIP? Um, you know, obviously the proposal was like mm -hmm. a memorable moment, um, but I think the fantasy suite where we kind of told each other where we loved each other, mm -hmm. um, maybe even takes the cake more on a personal level to me than, than, yeah. the, than the proposal. Yeah. I think for me it was, um, Tanner was only going to stay for two weeks because he had to go back to work and plus wow. his, right. um, he had just found out before he left that his dad was sick. Okay. And so he was like, I'm supposed to, he was like, there was a moment where we had to have a conversation like either I'm going to go or we're going to take this to the next level. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I want to stay. He's like, I want to be here for you and whatever happens outside happens. And I think to me, I was like so touched because he was like putting his life right. aside for me. I'm going to cry. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just like so it was, it was a good decision. Yeah. What Case do you guys really. think of Nick being the next Bachelor? I'm super excited about yeah. Nick being the next Bachelor. I'm just going to be honest, it's going to be great TV. It is. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah. as a fan of the show now, I'm mm -hmm. just excited to see what he says because he's so real about everything and tells you exactly how he feels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he won't have, he won't you know, hide the tongue right. at all. He's yeah. all just put it out there. So I mm -hmm. think it'll be good. We're, we're secretly hoping that Jen shows up and yes. confronts him about the relationship because we don't know what happens. I know. So well, we Izzy know. was here a, co um, a couple weeks ago and she was under the impression that they were still talking to one another. Hmm. So maybe she'll go back there and yeah, confront him. Yeah, we'll that see. would be for great TV. Yeah, we want to see that. <laughs> You guys have a lot going on. Yep. You are in the next season or this season of Marriage Boot Camp. Mm -hmm. yes. What made you guys want to uh, join the show? <laughs> um, you know, we were newlyweds. We, we mm -hmm. went thing, into things very quickly, so we didn't have time for much like premarital counseling, things like that. So we figured uh, we did our whole relationship up, up to that point on TV. Why not continue <laughs> yeah. to do it, you know? Definitely. Yeah. I feel like, um, you know, we wanted to see if like we could learn a lot from the other couples because a lot of them mm -hmm. have like been married for like five to ten years. and. Um, 
you know, we've heard like the program's been successful for other bachelor couples, so we mm -hmm. thought, you know, like, hey, like, why not? Definitely. Yeah. So what kind of problems were you hoping to solve when you went into the show? Um, I mean, our, our problems seemed probably petty compared to some of the other contestants on the show, um, just because we hadn't been together that long. We right. didn't have time to yeah. get these huge <laughs> issues, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but we had little things like communication, uh, the way we fought, you know, because mm -hmm. every couple fights, but we had to learn how to fight better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought Jade was a little messy. I'm a little OCD. So <laughs> yeah. that, that created a lot of fights. Um, but just probably communication was the biggest thing from your point. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like when you're first like married, you're learning how to like meet each other's needs and test each other's mm -hmm. boundaries. And that's kind of like where we have been. And so you kind of will see that happen, like unfold, I guess, on the show.